Hey, yo, what's going on, man? It's your boy, Tesmo, coming to you with a gaming review. Yes, I said a gaming review for a free-to-play MOBA right now that's currently in beta called Genesis. Genesis is, like I said, a free-to-play MOBA that's currently in beta by Rampage Games. So it's originally a Chinese console game that they ported over that's supposed to be on the PS4, Xbox, and Steam. But right now, it's open beta from the 14th, I believe, to the 27th for PS4 and Steam. So, you know, if you haven't, give it a try. Hop in, take a look, see what you like, what you don't like. But what I'm going to be doing right now is just basically breaking down to you what I liked from what I've played and seen so far. So, you know, let's just hop into it, man. If I'm going to give my pros on it, I think it has decent graphics. Decent graphics as far as in-game, it's, it's definitely nice. It's okay. Um, the outer game experience, like the menu system, the character designs, and, you know, you can look at everything from the interface that's beautiful that's all beautiful but in game it, it's just okay it still has some room to grow you know it's just a beta this is this is like nothing not, not final this isn't anything final guys uh powered by unreal engine so it's definitely got you know plenty of space plenty of opportunity um just like any other typical moba if you played smite if you play league you've played dota you're gonna have your different classing systems your tanks your supports your assassins your mages your archers you know your warriors your in front i mean it's all still the same uh good building system i didn't get to look too much into the particular items that they offer for character builds but uh as it is in beta they do have a option to just pre-purchase what's recommended for your character uh so like when you first dive into the world they have five options uh kind of like a power-up or a boost that only you get as your character so there's one that usually um allows for more experience growth another one for like you know more damage with spells or uh, i think it's, it's got a different name other than spells but i mean that's that's something really unique all on its own which i was like yo that's that's really cool i haven't played anything with nothing like that in it before it also has one of the best recall systems i've ever played in any moba not just oh i can recall i can go back to base i'm a hill up yeah that's any moba but no this recall system it doesn't just limit you to going back to the actual base you can hop around in any other lane or location as long as it's on your side of the field you can't you know teleport to anyone else's side of the field because at some point they kind of they have a line that divides your side from the enemy side so any place on your side of the field free reign to teleport love that it has a stupid long cooldown on it but it's still a great thing to have in the system um the unique characters and abilities as you see here in the footage that you'll be watching i'm actually using a support character i played with two support characters out of the three games i played i played with the chubbier character you see here on the screen named chris and i played with another guy named william who's kind of like a uh, vampiric space bat so chris is uh typically an alchemist he's more of your kind of support who is uh he can heal he can heal and kind of has slight uh, I wouldn't say he has crowd crowd control by any means, but he does have one ability that can kind of stun and do knockback. So um, if he does actually hit, it bounces off of characters and kind of chains to any character and stuns them for a certain period of time. His base ability is what allows him to heal. And uh, with William, William reminded me of Moira from um, Overwatch. He was just disgusting, boy. I mean, he had stupid CC and his ultimate was just you know ridiculously cool and his main abilities were you know straight to um he was probably the my favorite because in the game i played with william i had 14 kills 14 kills and like three deaths and i know you're gonna be like tez where the receipts at i'm sorry i didn't have any receipts because when i first tried to record it i recorded it the wrong way so i'm just like damn ain't no point in trying to tell you because you, you know like what the receipts at if you ain't got no proof i don't believe it i got proof I know I did it. I saw it with my own eyes. You know what I'm saying? But <laughs> uh, other than that, it, it's it's really nice. I like it. It does have potential. It has a lot of potential. The characters all seem like characters you've played with before in different games, but kind of mashed together. Like their support characters in this game, even though I've only played with um, one or two who can kind of actually heal or, or self-heal a lot of them seem like mix and mashes from other different types of classes and characters i played in other games which i can't say i don't like because it is really fire 
like truly flames it is a good thing now down to the cons and i only i only technically got two because you know it's just what i didn't like while i was playing it if you port something to pc you should offer mouse and keyboard support my guy that's like I, I was just like yo why can't i play the game i'm sitting here like why isn't anything happening well you have to use your mouse and keyboard and no 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 no, don't get twisted you can plug in a playstation controller into your pc and no, all pimps and pimpettes it has to be a xbox controller which i do have i was just like yo why am my playstation controller working like it's saying hit x i'm hitting x nope had to switch controllers and my final thing it's just like um, any mobile, you know, there's going to be some characters that are slow. Usually you're not going to have like a stupid speedy game. But I mean, like compared to Bard, who's a character I play on League of Legends, who's typically slow. I mean, these boys are slow, <laughs> but you can buy items to make yourself faster. And, you know, in any mobile coming straight out of the gate, you usually get like a, a, a weird boost of speed to get you to the gate yeah you only get that boost that which seems like it only gets you to the end of where your actual area is and not somewhere out towards the gate so i'm just like yo man this is incredibly slow but once you get items to kind of help you get faster it's you're still slow but it's a little bit better and you know that that that's it that's it but you know uh i'm gonna close it out overall thoughts the game has potential um not a lot to you know really run off of because it is an open beta so like it's not like oh yeah don't get this don't check it out no it's it's in beta give it a shot go into it open-minded see what you like uh get a feel for the characters if you like any particular character or you play a certain particular type of role i'm pretty sure the characters once you get past a little bit of the slowness you'll enjoy it uh it still does have the same things like any other mobile does have you know the different beasts you can uh farm for experience or certain buffs for your team or doing damage like that uh the towers are stupid i mean the towers are stupid strong you know so it it does take a, a little bit of time it, it'll give you the feel of uh paragon if you ever played paragon it does take a bit of time to get towards the end of these games like i think i had one game that took almost a whole hour plus because once everybody hits their level cap and you know you get a feel for your abilities and things like that it's all about uh synergy and team play but overall if done correctly this could be a great game and if it does turn out to be a good moba i'll definitely be wanting to get it because i love me a good moba game but other than that y'all man i'll holla at y'all later peace